Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Paul and today we are going to be talking about how to resize an image for Instagram or Facebook or any other social media platform without losing the quality. So let's jump right into it. So I've opened Photoshop here and I have a beautiful image of a bride I shot recently. And I'll be using this image as an example for this tutorial. Okay, so first of all, let's check the size of this image. So you go to image, then image size. And you can see that you have 4,016 pixels as the width and then 6,016 at the height. Now, one thing you should notice, Instagram requires you to post a maximum of 1080 pixels for the best quality. And if you post something larger than that, what is going to happen is Instagram will take the image, compress it into the form they like, and then share it onto the platform. By doing so, your viewers will not get the exact quality that you want them to see. Okay, so to properly resize, go to File, go to Export, and then choose Save for Web. So Save for Web. So let's click on that to load an optimized version of the image for us under the presets select jpeg high and this will reanalyze the image go to the quality right here change it to 75 that is what i usually keep my and then come down to where the image size is now we know that the maximum width instagram requires is what 1080 so Type 1080 here, but before you type, make sure that this small icon here is turned on. When it is turned off, this is how it will look like. When it is turned on, this is how it will look like. So make sure it is turned on. Then type in the values you want. So in this case, we want 1080 maximum width for Instagram. So click on save. It will open a folder where you would like to save the image. So if you don't want to save here, you choose a folder in which you want to save your file. Then for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll rename mine as YT so that I can know that this was the export I did for YouTube. But in your case, you can save it as maybe IG or something like that. I usually use IG for Instagram and AV for FB for Facebook. Okay, and then click save. And voila, you are done. So let's try to locate this image and see the quality we've gotten. So you can see in the folder in which I saved mine, you can see this is the YT. And look at the image size. We have 284 kilobytes. And now when you post this, so you can see how sharp it is on the screen already. So when you post this on Instagram, now Instagram will no longer have to do a hash compression on the image to so the quality will be retained far more than you posting the original size directly to Instagram. If you find this video useful, please click on the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and then I'll see you in the next one.